Hi folks, Dave with DBS Tech Talk, and today we're going to do a quick um, thoughts and impressions on the Focal Elex from Mastroff. Uh, this is a headphone that has been on my wish list, dream um, list for a long time, and I didn't get involved on the first drop, and um, I wanted to get in on the next one, and while I was waiting, I just started searching around on eBay. Never saw anything, never saw anything, and then all of a sudden, I saw one come through, and then I saw two more come through, and um, the one that I partook in was a Buy It Now, and it was a open box new uh, item. The others were used, so I decided to get the new one. The only reason why it was an open box new was because the box had damage on it, and it never got sold. At least that's what the uh, liquidator told me, and so... It came and the box was damaged up, but it still had enough packaging and, and uh, stuff in it and inside the box that the headphones weren't uh, damaged. The headphones themselves, they are very nice, uh, slightly heavy. They're, they're not uh, as heavy as you would think by looking at them, but they are heavy. Um, everything is black with like this gray writing on it so it's very hard to actually read if you have bad lighting um, there's an L and an R on the bottom down by the headphone inputs and um, on the ears it does the elex and aluminum magnesium and I'm not even going to pronounce that it's in French something about France made in France I know that they are uh, full cal on both sides and then on the left ear it says mass drop on the inside and Nothing on the right cup. The padding's very nice. They're, they're very comfortable. They're, they're huge. Um, but they're not uncomfortable. They do come with two cables. A single-ended uh, that terminates into a 6.35. And they are 3.5 monos. And uh, the only gripe on the cable, it, even though it is a very nice, uh, thin, um, straight cable, the only gripe is that the writing for the L and R is very hard to read. It's just like the, the gray that's on the headphone. So it makes it very hard. And if you have them sitting down, it's hard to kind of see um, which is left and right because there's no color coding on it. The um, other cable that you get is balanced. And again, the same um, flat cable. Very nicely built, um, light. They're not super heavy cable. I can and um, they're about six foot long, so they're plenty long, long enough. They're not too long, they're not too short. And so, um, we, I'm a go. I'm, I'm not looking to replace these cables. Sound wise, uh, these are, I'll have a full review with more detail, but they are by far the most immersive, clear and detailed headphone I've ever had, ever owned. They're not the widest. They are somewhat intimate uh, sound, but they're not. Um, they're they're very balanced and um, close to neutral. They're not really um, uneven. Not one more than the other as far as bass, mids, and treble, from what I can tell. Bass extends very well. Has a really nice slumping kick to it. And the treble is very smooth, no harshness, no sibilance of any sort. And the mids are just very glorious and smooth and very natural sounding. So more details to come on that. Just wanted to give you a, get a quick uh, hello and an update on what I've been listening to. And yes, actually I am listening to these on balanced and on single-ended. I do have a balanced amp now, uh, at, at least a somewhat balanced amp, and that is the AUN X7S. Uh, I know it's not a full balance because it doesn't have balanced ends, but it is balanced by balanced out. So, um, anyhow, I'll give you thoughts on what I think about both single ended and balanced uh, sound and which one I prefer. Even though you'll probably be able to guess which one I prefer. And yeah, the Focal Elex. I am in love. These things are so comfy. I could listen to these for hours. And they don't fatigue or anything of the sort. So, back from vacation, and I'm glad. 
to give out some more videos for you folks and give my thoughts and opinions on various headphone and audio gear. This has been Dave with DBS Tech Talk, and I'll catch you in the next video.